We want to just keep these babies safe. Come on, girls. Carbon monoxide is a serious, invisible gas that is. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my goodness. Hi, Dolly friends. It's Renee here, and it's just about nighttime for Lizzie and Lottie. So, Christy and Tori are helping me put them to bed. Can I raise you that you might not have on? Stay warm. We love you, babies. We'll see you in the morning. I hope they sleep well. Good night, twins. We love you, twins. We sure do. I hope they sleep. What is that alarm? Now it's silent. There it is again. What is that? There's a lot going on right now. I know. What could that be? Hmm. Okay, this is really unusual. Which alarm is it? It's not the fire alarms. And it's not the security alarms. What is that coming from? I think it's coming from the basement, Mom. I think you're right, Christy. It's an alarm that's going off every, like every five to ten seconds. I think we better grab the babies, girls, and head downstairs and see what that is. What could be that alarm? It feels funny to wake up the babies, but we just want them to be safe. Come here, Lizzie and Lottie. We'll take them downstairs. Come on, girls, let's go. We've got to go downstairs and see what that alarm is. Come on, girls. Let's go. Where is that coming from? It sounds like it's coming over there. I think you're right. Let's go check it out. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, there it is again. Oh, no. What is it? It's the carbon monoxide alarm. What's a carbon monoxide, Mom? Carbon monoxide is a serious, invisible gas that is deadly. Oh, no. See? There it is. What are we going to do? I don't know, but this is super serious. That is why we have carbon monoxide alarms to let us know when that invisible gas is present. I've never heard them go off besides when we test them twice a year. Does that mean that there's carbon monoxide gas right here, right now? Mom, I hear some alarms coming upstairs too. Really? There sure is. We have upstairs, downstairs, alarms going off. This is serious. Come on, girls. We need to go check it out upstairs, too. Oh, my mom, it's so scary. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's so scary. Where is that coming from? Oh, it sure is. It's the upstairs carbon monoxide alarm. Look. We're going to have to call and have them come out to look at this immediately. Did that mean we have to call volume and smoke? I don't know who will help us, but I know someone can. But one thing's for sure, we can't stay here tonight. We've got to get out. But where do we go? I know. To a hotel? To our neighbors? Baby our grandparents home? I don't know, but first things first, we've got to call and get help. Really? Okay, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Girls. What? Girls, it's imperative. We need to pack up fast. Okay, okay we will. Yeah. Okay, I need 
We need to pack things for this and Marty. And a Bible. Girls, hurry, hurry. We need to get out of here fast. Those alarms are getting louder and louder and more annoying. <laughs> and my socks. I hope we're going to come back to our home one day. I hope so I too. Okay, and I just packed up the babies and myself. Okay, girls, come on. We've got to get going. Come on. Oh, that's my phone. I wonder if I should just go or get it. What should I do? Baby that's calling to ask you about something. That's true. Do I go back in and answer it? I'll be really fast. Hello? Oh my goodness. It's the Emergency Services Department. This is the Babyville Emergency Services. We were wondering how long ago you had the carbon monoxide detectors installed. Um, 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 it was probably about like seven or eight years ago, before, soon before Christy was born. Carbon monoxide alarms only last seven to eight years before they need to be replaced and they let out a rhythmic beep when they need to be replaced. Try going to the store and buying new ones and see if that helps. Oh, okay. We can try that. Girls, did you hear that? Yeah. We've got to go to Walmart immediately and go buy new carbon monoxide detectors and see if that's the problem or if we really have carbon monoxide in our house. But either way, getting out of the house is what they want us to do. Here we go, come on girls. Okay, we made it to Walmart and we're just trying to find the carbon monoxide alarm area. Do you see it anywhere, Christy? Uh, no. Do you see it, Toria? No. Where could it be? Oh, I see some, Mom. Look. Christy, you saved the day. Hurry, Christy, hurry. I'm hurrying. Let's go, Mom. We need to go home and score them. That's right, we need to get home quick and install these. And I hope that takes care of the problem. Okay, we just got home from Walmart and it's starting to get dark, so it feels a little creepy coming back home. But we need to test out these new carbon monoxide detectors quickly. Okay, Tori, what are you doing? I'm putting these batteries in. Okay, thank you, Tori. Are you doing the upstairs one? Yes. And Christy's fixing up the downstairs one. Hurry, girls, hurry. We need to get these on to see if there's really a carbon monoxide leak. I hope not. Fireman Smoke thought it was just the alarms needed to be changed. So we're hoping that's it and there's not something dangerous spreading through our house right now. We want to just keep these babies safe. It's okay, Lizzie. Don't be sad. It'll be okay. Girls, are you almost done? Okay. Okay. So those alarms, as you can hear, are still going off. We need to replace these quickly, girls. Hurry, hurry. Okay. Great, let me have them and I'll go check it out and see if they work. Come on, we've got no time to lose. Okay, come on, let's go. Okay, so I just took the old one off and I'm going to put the new one up. Now we have to wait and see if it beeps. I don't think it is. It's quiet. I wonder if that's just a fluke. Yeah. Let's go try the downstairs one. Come on, girls, let's go. Okay, here's the new one. Let's try it out. It's not beeping. Oh. That's my phone. I wonder who that could be. Hello, this is Renee. Fireman Smoke, you'll never guess. The alarm didn't go off on the new carbon monoxide detector. Phew, you're still gonna come out though? Oh. What's that, Mom? That was the emergency responder, Fireman Smoke, and he said, that he's still gonna come out to check on it just to make sure he wants it safe. But he thought everything was okay so we can unpack our bags and plan to sleep at our house tonight with our twins all safe. Yay! I'm so excited! 
I know, Lottie. I'm tired too. It's been a big night. Now, this is not the first time that we had to go into the basement because of an emergency situation. If you want to see the time that a tornado hit our area and almost destroyed our play date, click the... Well, hi, Kova. There's actually been a tornado spotted. Okay, come on. We've got to get shelter in the basement. Oh, no! I think the power must have turned off. Oh, my goodness. Get your favorite toy, Kate. Oh, hi, friends. Kate and I are so excited because today we're getting ready for our play date with Kate's new friend, Kova. Kova has a feeding too. Just like Kate. Oh, what's the matter, Kate? Don't be sad. She'll be here soon. Oh, how could I have forgotten? This is her favorite toy. And I think she wants to make sure that I don't forget to put it out. But I have all sorts of games and art supplies and sensory things out. But this is her favorite. She really likes the gears on this. See me, I'll turn. That's so fun, isn't it? Oh, that's a weather alert on the radio. A severe tornado watch has been issued for Babyville and surrounding oh. areas until 2 p.m. Residents are advised to be alert and seek oh, shelter if no. conditions worsen. I hope that won't affect our play date. I didn't even think to look at the weather today because it's sunny, but that's how it is in Oklahoma. You just never know what the weather will be like later in the day. But even though I'd hate to cancel this play date, I think I better check in with Kova's mom and just make sure she feels comfortable dropping her off in potential weather like a tornado. This is Renee, and I'm just calling to see if you're still okay with Kova coming over for a play date, even with, you know, the tornado watch that's going on. I know, it's so sunny right now. That's what I'm thinking, too. Sounds good. Bye. Yes, I'm so glad Kova's mom thought the same thing that I did, that it's sunny right now, and even if it's an abbreviated play date, they should still have fun. And seriously, tornado watches sometimes turn into tornadoes, but... Not always. Sometimes it's just it's just weather people wanting people to be careful. I appreciate that. So there may not even be a tornado today. But just in case, we'll make sure to keep our ears out for tornado sirens, won't we? If there's a tornado siren, that means seek shelter immediately. Tornadoes can be very serious and very bad. But hopefully there won't even be a tornado today. See how the little animals and bugs can crawl up the tree? Is that so fun, Kate? Yeah. Here's a monkey. Can you touch the monkey? Good job. I'm just trying to keep Kate entertained. I think she definitely knows Kova is coming. She's so excited. So I'm trying to keep her calm and entertained while we wait for her friend to come. Oh, that's the doorbell. Your friend is here. Let's go get the door. Let's go. I just hope this will be the best play date ever. Well, hi, Kova. Come on in. We're so glad you came. How are you? Good. Good. Well, let's shut this door and talk about what we want to do today. Of course, you guys want to do a told Kate. Oh, of course you can, Kate. Then you can go see your friend. Oh, she's been waiting for you all day. Hi, Kate. Oh, she doesn't have any other friends with feeding tubes, so this is extra special. This is special for me, too. Hey, can we go outside and play since it's so pretty outside? And I hope we might get some way later. Oh, of course we can. I did set out a really fun table of toys, but I agree. Let's go outside while it's still sunny. Oh, Kate. Mother, does he want to stay inside? Hmm, I don't know. That's kind of weird. What's the matter, Kate? Oh, I know what she wants. Look at this. I think she's wanting her toy. Yes, yeah, she just loves it. I don't usually like to take toys outside, but it looks like that's what Kate wants to do. Don't you, Kate? This is a little new toy. Here, I'll teach you how to count, Kate. One, two, three, nine. Oh, she just loves it. Okay, well, let's take it outside to play. This would be so much fun. It sure will. Let's go play at the park. It's such a beautiful day. Here it is. This is one of our favorite parks, Kova. Have you ever been here before? No, I haven't. 
I think you'll love it. It is so fun. I am so excited. That look is actually sunny. I just can't believe that we are in a tornado watch right now. It's hard to imagine. Okay, I've got to find a good spot to put this. Oh, here's a good chair. I'm glad I found a safe spot for Kate's favorite toy. That's so sweet. Oh, Kate's loving that. What a brave girl. You know, Koba, she's actually usually afraid to do that. I think you're helping her be brave. I think there might be room in here for both the twins. There they go. Whee! Do you know how to pump, Koba? Good for you. Wow, you don't let your feeding tube hold you back, do you? Nope. I can just go do anything with the feeding tube. Wow, that can be a real inspiration to you, Kate. That's awesome. I love finding a great friend for my girls who's inspiring to them. Okay, I think the twins want to go do something else now. Oh, why are you fussing, Kate? I think they might want to play with the toy. These are so neat. Those are really colorful. It can help you learn to count, Kate. Do you want to go down the slide now? Oh, I think she does. It's starting to get dark. Oh, no. Wow, just like that, the cloud, the storm is just starting to roll in. Wow, it's starting to get windy even. Well, girls, why don't you go down the slide quickly? And we do have to be alert because there's a tornado watch. Whee! It sure was. I think we better pick everything up, girls, and head on home. We don't want to get caught outside in a tornado. Wow, that storm is really starting to roll in. Oh, that's so loud. Do you think we're supposed to go out of tornado? I hope not. But the sky does look really ominous. Oh, wow. Oh. oh. Oh, don't cry, babies. That was the biggest crash yet. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's Kate's too. I'll turn that off. So grateful for alarms. We almost forgot our feeding tube feeding and all the excitement of this play date and um, thunderstorm. Well, let's go get our feeding done. Well, I'm sure glad that our feeding tube machine can't feed two babies at one time. Probably your mom didn't have to bring your feeding machine over. Yeah, it's nice to have friends that are like me. Well, we're sure grateful for you, Kova. Should I pour in all food? Please. That should be enough for both of us. That thunder is so loud. Oh, it's okay, Kate. Don't cry. I'm sure glad you're here, Kova, to hopefully we can calm her down. So she'll take this feeding tube feeding. We're gonna have to watch her closely so she doesn't rip out her tube. Okay, thanks, Kova, for putting hers in. And I'll put yours in for you. There we go. Oh, don't cry, Kate. Hmm, this isn't working real well. She seems to be really agitated. Maybe if I give her a new activity on her toy. I'm so glad Lobby Bert sent this to us. There's so many neat things that you can do with it. And Kate just loves it. Yes, you do. Oh, she's so excited. Oh, she loves all the colors. Okay, everyone's feeding tube is inserted and ready. Are we ready to turn it on? Okay. What is that? Oh my goodness, that is the tornado alarm. The alarm means that there's actually been a tornado spotted. We have got to get to the basement and get everyone situated. What shall we do? Kate and I need our feeding to feeding too. I don't know, but we're gonna have to take all this to the basement so that we're safe. If the house falls away, we don't want to be on the main floor. Okay, I've got, I've got the twins. I got the feeding to the scene. And I can't forget Kate's favorite toy. Okay, come on, we've got to get shelter in the basement. Let's take the twins down and the toy. And I'll come back and get some more things in a minute. Ew, I don't like the basement. I don't either. But I'm so grateful for them in tornadoes. They're the safe place to be. We need the polo! Here's some! Catch! Catch! <laughs> okay, so we've got pillows, we've got the babies. Kate's toy. What else do we need? What am I forgetting? We need chocolate and flashlights. Good idea. Okay, chocolate, flashlight, feeding machine, check. Ooh. Ooh, it's sounding intense out there. Gotta go run this downstairs. Are you okay, Mrs. Cully? Yep, here I come. 
with the chocolate flashlight and feeding machine. Oh, that thunder and lightning is getting so close. We've got to get in shelter quick. Phew, we made it. Oh no, I forgot two things. What is it? I'll, I'll be right back. Hurry, Mrs. Cully. I will. I can't forget the most important thing. We've got to protect our heads. I think that one should work for me. Hopefully this one will work for Kova. And we've got two of these for Kate and Clara. I'm starting to get really worried. What is taking Mrs. Kelly so long? If the house gets blown away with the tornado, I don't want Mrs. Kelly to fly away. I got to go check on her, make sure she's okay. Huh? What are you doing, Mrs. Kelly? Oh! Well, I'm just putting up pots and pants to protect everyone's heads in case the house falls down. Ooh, those sirens are getting louder. We've got to get down. And there we go. And I can't forget the water. So I'm wanting to get our little safe spot nook situated. And already those sirens are going off. We have so many all around the neighborhoods. Okay, here are the pillows. That'll be nice and safe. Now, Kova, thank you for helping me with the babies. You get situated. I'll go bring the rest of the things to our little tornado shelter. We can't forget Kate's toy. There you go. It's okay, babies, don't cry. Some pots and pans, chocolate, a flashlight. Feeding tube machine. We're gonna bunker down. Try to stay safe from that storm. Everyone needs to put on a pan. Okay, Kova, here's your pan. Keep that on so it protects your head in case in case anything falls down that's heavy. It acts kind of like a helmet. Oh, don't cry, girls. It's okay. Here's one for you, Kate. And one for Clara. We want your heads protected. Don't cry, though. It's okay. This is their first tornado. No wonder they're so scared. Well, we've got to think of something to do to make them happy. Oh, we can pull out Kate's favorite toy. Oh, that's a great idea. We just want to keep her happy. We don't want her to freak out. If something serious happens, we've got to be calm for the baby. Here you go, Kate. Don't cry. We can put the shapes in the little spots. Here we go. And a triangle. Does that make you so happy? Here. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, that sounds so loud out there. Is the house gone? I don't know. Oh, it's just loud. Okay, we've got to think of something though. These babies are just sad. I'm so glad we have you here, Kova, and you're so brave. Oh, our feeding tube feeding. Oh, that's right. Let's get that set up. That'll be a good distraction for all of us. Okay, so we've got a little makeshift feeding station here. Okay, let's put the tubes in. Can you turn it on, Kova? Okay, is, it, is your feeding going well? Are you doing okay with your feeding, Kilva? Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Oh, are you okay? I hope so. It's so still now. Oh dear, Kate and Clara, don't cry. Oh no, your feeding tube machine. I'm so sorry you didn't get your whole feeding. That must have been the tornado passing right over us. I'm kind of afraid to crawl out of our hiding spot, but I think it must be over now. It's so still. It feels so weird. Is the house still standing? I think the power must have turned off. Let's creep upstairs and see what's going on. Oh, it's always so scary coming up after a tornado. Is everything okay? Oh, it looks like the house is still standing. Yes, but let's look outside. Good idea, let's go. Let's go see what happened at the park. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. Oh, the tornado knocked over the slide and all the chairs and turtle and Bri ripped up bricks from the little path here? Oh my goodness, that was a strong tornado. It sure was. I'm so glad we were safe. And it doesn't look like anything really broke. Just a lot of things are knocked over. That was a strong one. I'm so sorry, Kova. This just has not been a fun play date. Eh, 
it's okay. I enjoy being around some of the other feelings who like me. But I got a question. Oh? When I can't get her feeding to, and why? I will show you her story. And I'll make it right here for you so that you can watch it with us. You want to see it? Let's watch it together. <laughs> 